we gave up too many second chance opportunities, open threes, um, and those those racked up pretty fast. Um, you know, first half I, I thought we did some some really good things, and we had some really some odd miscues. We just mishandled like four or five balls that you know we ended up giving back, and it was still like a five point game or whatever. But you know, whatever the case. Um, these games are hard. Trip is long. Um, we just got to stick together and keep fighting through this, and uh, you know, hope that we can get some help back here soon. Are you seeing some effect of the long road trip at this point in the guys' legs? I mean, you guys obviously have been been out for a while. Does, does that explain some of? Uh, you know, is it, is it getting harder? Uh, I, I don't believe in giving into that. I think it's an easy excuse. Um, but you know, at, at this at this point. You gotta you gotta embrace how difficult it is. It's an opportunity to the team to build, you know, build uh, build camaraderie and, and and stay tough and do things together. And uh, you know, uh, tomorrow we'll be here very quickly. The uh, as far as just the threes of this year, I mean, obviously they got some good ball movement. You have Nurkic in there setting screens that are kind of swallowing guys whole. I mean, just, just how tough is it? Do they make it on you to to screen to keep up with them? I, I, you know, I gotta look at the film of the game. Um, I know that we made some mistakes, um, and I also know that some of their some of the really good looks came on second chance opportunities, and that we really felt that you know rebounding was a big part of this. Um, it was only a one rebound differential, but it felt like more. <laughs> so, um, but. You know, we'll look at the film closely and, you know, see who we have available tomorrow. But, uh, you know, in the first half, I, you know, I saw a lot of things that, that I thought were, were, were positive in the third quarter bit us. Andrew obviously has to run the offense a whole lot more in this one. Just uh, how do you feel about the way he played? I think 16 points, 8, 16 points, 8 assists. Yeah, I mean, Nemar is a solid player. I mean, he, he plays consistently. He plays well. Um he can play point. He can play two. You know, he defends well. He he was guarding Lillard and and Simon, and you know, didn't get in foul trouble, which is you know tells you that the guy's got some real maturity, even for a first year player. Um, but we couldn't play him forty eight minutes, you know, and so uh, so that cre- that created created some challenges for us, but. Uh, you know, we got a chance to look at traveling a little bit tonight. And, uh, you know, as I said, we'll see where we are tomorrow with TJ and, and everything else. But uh, right now we gotta we got to pack our bags and, and get the hell out of here and get, get ready for tomorrow. James obviously got some point guard work. What gave you faith in, in him in that one? Obviously he's a veteran. He's been around for a long time. I know you like his handle. Basically, how did that Yeah, happen? he's got experience. He's got experience. Um, you know. It was uh, it was only going to be short minutes, you know. I just felt like get Drew strategic short rests, a couple of a couple of rests per half that you know he could get through the game okay. So, um, but you know James is a proven ball handler in this league, and he's he's played a lot of point forward. So um, that was that was one of our options. TQ was the other option, and. Uh, as I said, we'll see where we are tomorrow night. Threes stopped defending the three-point line early and made some tough ones, and uh, we weren't able to, to stop the bleeding. So we got to do a better job of that. Well, it's a, they got to be a tough team to cover as far as getting out to threes, especially when they got Nurk at the Nurk in the middle, knocking you around. Basically. How did they do well to get looks, and um, how much of it is just the challenge of covering? It was, I think it was really just being, uh, you know, losing focus for half a second. You lose focus for half a second, and you know, they made the right play. Second short on the closeout, and you know we got burned from it. So I mean, they just made they made shots. Are you starting to see it all? And I know maybe you don't want to say this, but it's, are you starting to see the wear of this trip getting guys? Uh, I mean, winning in this league is hard. You know, guys who have been around a while know that. And, um, you know, we knew we were going to hit a little, you know, a bump in the road, and it's just how we respond and how quickly can we, you know, turn it back around and get to back to where how we were playing before this road trip.
What, uh, I guess it's just on that, I mean, what, what are you seeing that is different, especially in the way you guys play defense? Um, yeah, we need to be, you know, more connected and um, getting back to talking more on the defensive side of the ball and, you know, just being us, focus on us and doing what we do best in our game plan. And that's are, it. are you seeing more miscommunication and is there any particular uh, no, reason? I mean, I wouldn't say it's miscommunication. I would just say it's, we need to be more, more communicative, you know, being on the road and being a young team. Uh, Whenever the crowd gets into it, it gets real loud, and sometimes you cannot hear the coverages. So we got to be, we got to put more focus on being loud and demonstrative, and being more um, firm with our decision making. Andrew obviously had to play a ton tonight with uh, Tyrese and, and uh, TJ being out. Just what impression about what he was able to do, basically? And you know he can play that position; he's done it before, but just having to do it so extensively tonight while chasing Damian around. Yeah, I, mean, I think he did a good job. You know, playing. I mean, big time minutes on playing both sides of the ball, um, you know, making making the right reads and uh, getting everybody involved. And, you know, like I said before, I think he's a phenomenal player, plays at his own pace. And everybody had to trust in him to do it for 48 minutes today if he had to. So, yeah, I think he did a fantastic job. With um, Daniel obviously going back, this is his first night back under seven. What are the challenges of covering him? I know you both had the assignment at some point in time. Just because like to run around with him. Uh, you know, just you know, like you said, run around with him and not lose, not lose sleep, and uh, let him you know get an easy three off his main thing. He's like, don't let him find his rhythm. But you know, miscommunications happened, and you know he got some easy threes, helped him get going, in turn, helped him get the rest of the team going. So. Well, the first quarter we were doing a good job of dissecting, um, you know, their, their coverage as far as the pick and rolls and whatnot. And I think at the beginning of the, the second half, we got like days on our principles defensively. And we got a little too excited and um, offensively and it kind of leaked into our defense. So um, 48 minutes of basketball. That's what I'm trying to preach to this team, man. You can play a good quarter. You can play a good stretch to a good half. You got to put 48 minutes together. And um, as a young team, that's what we got to improve. Is, I guess, is that kind of a, a symptom of maybe this road trip starting to feel long? That, that, that you're having that kind of, uh, you know, again, especially because you guys were really getting after them first. Yeah, I think that when guys who haven't played as many minutes before or guys that are starting to get extended minutes and just start, this is our first test, you know what I mean, as far as uh, the road trip's concerned. So, you know, we knew a little bit this is going to creep in, but again, we can't make excuses for ourselves. So I think that this is just a testament to growing pains. How much does Portland in particular punish you for that? Because of one, you got Suns and, and Lillard who run around like crazy, and you've got just a massive human in the middle who's setting screens on everybody. Yeah, you know, you got to tip your cap. You know, they got their um, well machine over there, but at the same time, you know, so are we. You know, we um, we just got out competed in that third quarter, and you know, uh, saw the result. But uh, obviously, you're able to shoot the ball pretty well, and it seemed like obviously, like you said, you were able to dissect the coverages pretty well. What did you feel like worked out for you offensively tonight? Drew, I think Drew made a, did a good job of stepping up tonight. He's really. Um, Taking the charge with uh, you know point guards being out, and he, I think he's had a great road trip so far. So he's mm -hmm. got to continue to keep being him, and uh, you know be our leader out there. Just I guess tell me more about what you felt about his performance. It seemed like he he, he has this kind of a, a smooth operation when he's you know running the offense. What do you like about everything he was able to do? I just like his composure. You know I think he needs to continue to um, keep that set in the game. You know keep learning as he's going, but he's doing a great job. Like I said, so I can't. You know, there's nothing to complain about. He's got a team to keep leading the charge. That being said, how tough is it when you're used to having three of those guys and you only have one? Um, it presents a challenge. Just, mm -hmm. That's the best way to describe it. All good? Appreciate it, man. Right. I think it was just good for me in terms of just getting experience um, with the ball in my hands a little bit more. Um, and, and that's what's going to take my game to the next level. So selfishly, that's what was good for me. Um, obviously, we didn't get the win, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What, uh, I guess, as far as, you know, were you looking to slow things down a little bit tonight? I guess is that, uh, you know, a no, I don't what's kind so. of your comfort level in terms of the pace you want to play and, and how you like run this offense? Uh, I like to run it the same way. We always run it. I think we play fast. I think we had a couple guys out, so we wanted to like mm -hmm. just make sure our possessions were meaningful every single time. They want to rush some bad shots early or something. But I thought our pace was solid. Um, I like to play fast. I like to play. If we need to play slow, I can play slow. Um, but whatever we need. But uh, obviously you had to chase Dame around a little bit, and uh, you know what, what was that just challenge like? Basically? Um, obviously Dame is one of the best point guards in the last decade. So tough matchup. He hits shots. He's a big time shot maker. He knows how to draw fouls. You know, it's a vet. Um, very comfortable out there. So it was definitely a tough matchup for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Topping him up. So, right. 
What, uh, and how much does just having to run around Real shit, no. your kick in, in your kick in there add to that? I guess when, when a guy like that huge just set the screens on you. Who's that? Nurkic, the big guy. I mean, how much does that add to the challenge when you're trying to chase the around and he's trying to set screens on you? I think it's, it's I don't want to say it's too much of a challenge because every, every team got a big like that. That's the biggest shit. Setting screens, um, tough to get through. So you just got to be physical and kind of just play through it. Seemed like you guys were really well connected defensively for the first two quarters. Seems like things kind of got away from you in the third. Just, just what did you see there? And just what, what did you kind of see change? Already know, brother. Quarter two and quarter three. Not exactly sure. I gotta watch it back, but um, I think it's just for us. It's just staying locked in, understanding that that's gonna be like some. We need to fall back on our defense, um, and then our offense will we'll be able to flow. We got Hooper, so I think we just need to always stay together, locking on that side of the floor.